Hello, I'm Blizzna, and welcome back to Stories, The Path of Destinies. Um, this one was almost very, very nearly unanimous. Um, so you guys have, I'm, I'm gonna guess, intelligently realized that the core without the armature is virtually useless. So we're going to try and rescue, sorry, capture. We're going to visit Zenobia. The Emperor's daughter. Zenobia wasn't just the Emperor's daughter, of course. She'd been Renato's best friend in Swordfu school. And you're still mad for her, the rabbit reminded him. They'd been close. She'd told him things no one else knew. But she'd never told him who she really was. She knows all the Emperor's plans, chuckled the Master's spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators, all right, said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. Okay, then. Let's capture someone. Oh, the city was already under Zenobia's control. I had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. Shiny. Yes, give me all of the sword crafting things. Alright, I can get the control. Did I just waste all of my sword juice? I think I did. As I was saying, I forget the controls, but I dare say. Oh, it's actually been a while since the last episode, and I apologize for that. Got a little sidetracked by. Alright, uh there are lots of dead things. Anything I can smash? Why am I having trouble pathing? It's strange. Oh well. Smashable? No. Alright. Uh Ah, okay. No, 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 no. For a moment, we're not a wish that somebody had been watching. Wish granted. Uh, can I go in here? No. I got it. I just really wanna. I can see the chest. Uh, oh, crap. I boss. I like these things. Uh, oh, yeah. Sweet. Ooh, yes. Give me the wind death. And that one. Give me the wind essence. Uh oh. Oh, this old gang again. Nice and careful about it. Uh, we're going to be more nice and careful about it. I suspect that my dash isn't actually a teleport, like I can't just go straight through. Beautiful. These things could really use a hand. Oh, I see if they can. Definitely alive over there. Whatever that is. I mean, it looks like Lapino, but I don't trust anything. So, what's this plan of yours? Use me as bait, said Lapino. And he outlined a <laughs> slightly complicated plan that involved geese, a net, setting the farfare a little bit on fire, Lapino dressing as an old blind toad, and Renardo hiding inside a monstrous watermelon. What could possibly go wrong? Thought Renardo. Um. Uh, I'm not throwing this one to a vote. So this would be a very um, short episode. I don't like the idea of setting the Skyfarer a little bit on fire. So I'm actually gonna not. I don't. Uh, 
Damn it, Lupino. I suppose we did rescue him for a reason. Oh, this is gonna be fun, said Lupino, as he ran to go set up his marvelous plan. I am really going to regret that, aren't I? Like, I, I know hey. I am. Oh, wait, wait. Hey, your workbench. He could try out his new bling. Oh, awesome. Can we make another sword? No, no. We can upgrade this one at least. Uh, ooh. Ooh. It is shinier than ever now. Awesome. And gems. Oh, we have a gem now, don't we? Oh, right. So they go on, like, my other hand, I guess. Uh, we have the one. Gem, that's it. That's all we got. Oh well. I'm assuming I can't put it in twice. Yup. Lovely. I have a shiny sword now. Uh, nope. Uh, no. Hey. Hey. I'm a Firefox. Thought Renato. Alrighty. Uh, I have the one point. Oh, it's locked, because I've only got the one truth right. Obviously. Um... I do feel like having more health would, would help me quite a bit. At the same time, all of these things would help me a bit. I'm actually Haven't you gonna go always now. wanted to do that? Just because I tend to be losing it rather often. My flamey sword. It's made of fire. I imagine you can probably have guessed that. Oh crap. No Cloud of ow. I got distracted by a thing. Sorry, there was a thing appeared here for a split second during that fight and it really distracted me. I forgot what was going on. I, oh god. Damn it. I just, he wasn't kidding. There's, there's, I'm gonna have to hide in a watermelon. Renato felt uh, dubious about the whole plan. With every step, he was waiting for it all to go horribly wrong. But against all odds, Napino's idiotic plan worked. Zenobia's ravens ran off after the geese, the net dropped, and Renato jumped out of the watermelon and put his sword to Zenobia's throat. Renato, she said. Are those new scars? They look good on you. You never return my velvet jacket. It was my favorite. You look stupid in velvet. Ah, oh, what does an imperial princess know about style? <laughs> oh, get a room, you two, said Latino. But the fleet was coming on fast. So they put Zenobia on the Farfarer and took her east over the Nexus. She'd vanished from Swordfu School, from his life, without even saying goodbye, without ever telling him she was the Emperor's adopted daughter. Ah, Lapina was right, Renato thought reluctantly. She knows things. She recognized his look. You're taking me to the interrogators, aren't you? She said, wide-eyed. And then she jumped with horror. Renato saw Zenobia plummeting. Then he saw the Nexus below them. Cats always land on their feet. Ah, oh, she'll head for the Imperial Outpost, yelled Lupino. You have to catch her. Uh -oh. I, I imagine that her jumping was not part of the plan. Could we not have, like, cuffed her or something? You know, put her, thrown her in the brig. Surely the Skyfarer has a brig. I mean, come on. Cats can run faster, but foxes can run longer. If he ran, he could head her off before she reached her minions at the outpost. Well, he did love a good chase. All right, I, I sense a fight coming. A very clever engineer named Elon Muskrat had got his start making floating platforms. Not many people knew that. 
I sense there's a reference in there somewhere. But I'm, I'm not getting it. Elon Musk crap? Anyone? Also, I get that I'm meant to be chasing up this Nobia. Come on, guys. There's stuff to smash. Uh, um, um, okay. Damn it. I have choices on where to go. Awful with the choice. Nara had been the terror of the sandcastles when he was too... He was sort of yanking his own shape, wasn't he? Ah, uh, really? <laughs> I never thought of that. Why do I get the feeling we're going to end up fighting Zenobia? Things I was wondering. Uh, okay, there's nothing up here. Fantastic. Wait, did I miss the way forwards? I'm really confused now. That was the only way I actually saw, unless. Ah, oh, of course. How silly of me. I thought that was a return pad for like going to the chest. That makes sense. Eh, who knows? He was closing on her. He could smell her fear. He tried not to think about the interrogators at the secret base. What did they do to her? Maybe it didn't have to end that way. Maybe he could talk to her. But after all, there were worse things the Imperials had done to friends of his. I can just talk her into helping us. I really do like turn her for the rebels. <gasps> yes! I need more materials. Thought or not. Oh, wait. Do I? Ah, uh, I need a lot more. Oh, uh, well. I was really hoping that. <laughs> Of Raiders. Ah, oh, crap. I know what they are. <laughs> yeah, man. Beautiful. Well, that wasn't too difficult to deal with. Stop. 
style acceptable. God damn it. I got hit one time. Bernardo reached the outpost. Uh. The Imperials there were no match for him. Soon after, Zenobia limped up the path. When she realized he was already in front of her, she didn't even try to run. Oh, you left without saying goodbye. Again, he said, please. I'm enjoying this a little too much. She said, shaken. Oh, spare us the chit chat, would you? Said Lapino as he shackled her hands so she couldn't throw spells. She knows all his plans. All the way back to the Farfarer, Lapino nagged Renato about how the interrogators would pry all the intel out of Zenobia. How that would turn the tides in the imminent battle. All they had to do was take her to the rebel's secret base. Renato didn't like to think about what the interrogators would do to her. Couldn't he just talk to her? Oh, no. Guys, gu guys, be reasonable. Be reasonable. <laughs> I know what you guys are gonna vote, but still, it's in your hands. Will we, <laughs> wait, skip the rebel base? Okay. Should Bernardo interrogate Zenobia himself? Or should he take her to the rebel base? And apparently win the war. But, yeah. So, <laughs> so it's your choice, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed. As always, this is option one and this is option two. Leave your comments down below. And your choice really will affect my decision. Anyhow, thank you for watching. I'm Blizzna, and this is Stories the Path of Destiny. Wait a minute, I feel like I fucked up my outro. I did fuck up my outro. <sighs> oh well. <laughs> thank you for watching. As always, please like and comment below and subscribe if you want to see more. I'm Blizzna, and this I got a better that time. It's stories. The path of destinies.